What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media bringing you yet another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle today against Finn who has a subscriber slash follower on Twitter. I'll be sure to put his, I'm pretty sure he has a YouTube account so I will put that in the uh, link, or not put that in the link, I will put the link to that in the description below. My goodness, it's been a while. I'm getting a little rusty. I did not upload anything yesterday. That's the first time I haven't uploaded a video in a really long time. So I apologize about that, but I just had a lot of uh, in real life stuff going on. I'm actually planning my vacation, because I'm not going on vacation during the summer, I'm going uh, in two weeks, so I will be heading back to my home area, home state of uh, Pennsylvania. For those of you that don't know, I was uh, born and raised outside of the Philadelphia area, but anyway, I'm going back there for two weeks, so I was getting all that stuff planned and things like that, so I didn't really have a chance to record anything for uh, yesterday. Today we're going to have two Wi-Fi battles, 6v6, tomorrow we're going to have two uh, Battle Spot Lives. And uh, we'll go from there. I'm going to try to really get in the zone so that I have some uh, videos recorded. So that when I do go on vacation in a couple of weeks, because um, I'm going for two weeks, I believe, just about two weeks, um, in May. So I want to have a good stockpile of videos so that I don't have to worry about recording when I'm there too much. And uh, also so that I can get videos up daily because that's just what I do. That is what I do. You guys know that. Uh, so today, like I said, match against... Finn here it was kind of just a all over the place, bring whatever you want kind of deals because as you can see from his team, he's got stuff from like every tier pretty much and I've got stuff from all over the place as well. Uh, before we get into the uh, match for today, just want to remind you guys that as long as this video reaches that magical number of 60 likes, I will continue to bring you these lovely daily double Wi-Fi battle uploads most of the time because apparently yesterday I just did not care. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, it was actually killing me inside to not have a video up, so just thought I would say that. Now, uh, going into the teams here, he's got the Jellicent, Tyrantrum, Agron, uh, Victini, Torterra, and Infernape. So threats all over the place, especially uh, physical threats. Uh, it looks like the only potentially um, special Pokemon that he has is going to be the Jellicent. Everything else looks to be physical to me, uh, because special Victini's pretty bad. Special Infernape could work, but most of the time, if anything, they're going to be mixed, not special. So, unless he's just running some weird sets. On my side, I'm bringing the Scarf Magmortar, because why not? I've got Florges as my special wall. Donphan's going to be my physical wall. Salt Vest, Electros, I like to bring that a lot. I've got um, Aerodactyl, you guys have seen that. And then I have Shiftry as well, and we all know how dangerous Shiftry can be. With Swords Dance, Focus Sash... You know, knock off, sucker punch, all that kind of good stuff. So let's just get into the battle here. I think I've talked for way too long. Way too long. So out comes the Jellicent to start things off. I'm bringing out my Don Fan, and that's kind of a bad matchup for me. Really bad matchup. I wanted to get the rocks up and also spin away anything that he wants to set up, but uh, that's not going to be the case here. He obviously just predicted, or he likes to start off with his Jellicent. Either way, I'm switching into my Ivy, the uh, Florges, because if he wants to burn me or talk to me, that's fine. I have the Aromatherapy. And if he wants to just go for the Skull, they should be able to take that very nicely. He decides to just go for the uh, will o -Wisp, which is fine. I'm going to go straight for the Toxic to get some residual damage on this thing, because I really don't have anything on my team that can one-shot it, so we need to wear it down a little bit. There is the Taunt, and uh, that is kind of interesting. I have not seen Taunt on Jellicent before, but that is not a bad move to have on it whatsoever. Um, and that was not a bad play here, considering three out of my four moves are going to be um, non-attacking moves, because I've got the Wish, and, you know, Forge is pretty predictable, to be honest, they all kind of sort of do the same thing, so not a bad play at all, I'm going to switch into my Electros here, as he goes for the Scald, and I'm a Salt Vest, so I should be able to take that pretty nicely, no burn, not that it would really matter, it would just be residual damage, I am specially based, have yet to try the, uh, Coil Electros, I do have one, but I just have not brought it to a Wi-Fi battle yet, because it just doesn't fit as well on my teams, I feel, I don't know. So I go for the Volt Switch here. He brings in his Forest, the Torterra, and he's going to Toxic me as well. So I'm noticing that uh, Toxics are, are just everywhere. I'm going to have to get off a um, Aromatherapy. So I'm going to go for the Flamethrower here, and that just straight up kills this Torterra, but it was a critical hit. I don't know if that mattered or not. I did not calc it, but it's unstabbed. I know Electros is pretty powerful. But still, I mean, and this one is modest, but at, at the same time, you know, Torterra is not frail by any means, so that, that could have very well mattered. Anyway, he's going to switch into his Jellicent here. He's going to recover, maybe predicting me to outspeed, but I do not. 
going to go for the Volt Switch. And that's going to do about 50%, and he's going to start racking up that uh, Toxic Damage as well. And uh, that is going to allow me to bring in Shifri. I know I outspeed this thing. I do not need to worry about Sucker Punch or anything, so something is going to hit really hard. Really, really hard. I have no other move here but to go for the knockoff, because if I stay in and he burns me, that would be bad news. So the Jellicent just goes down, and that is uh, his special wall out of the way, so that is great for me. Knockoff is Splash Plate. So I'm thinking that he just doesn't have all the necessary items for competitive battling unless... Because Jellicent's usually a defensive Pokemon. You don't normally have, you know, power increasing items on uh, those Pokemon, but whatever. Um, in comes the Infernape. He's going to go for the close combat. And yeah, Donphan takes that pretty well. Pretty, pretty well, honestly. I mean, that's going to be a three-hit KO, and I should be able to KO him back with an Earthquake. Or I can decide to set up the Rocks. Uh, here, as he's going to go for the U-turn uh, to uh, U-turn out or switch out, I'm going to eat my citrus berry, which is great. And Hayoka, I think is his nickname, if I read that correctly. Um, he's going to switch into his Tyrantrum here, and that also is going to be hit hard by the earthquake. It's not going to be a one shot because Tyrantrum does have pretty good physical defense, as you can see. That still mm, that does about like 75%. He is going to outspeed me, though. Go for that Ice Fang, which is boosted by the Strong Jaw, so it does a lot. And I decide, instead of killing the Tyrantrum, that it's more important for me to set up rocks and break any Focus Ashes that he may have, because that's just uh, what it is. It's going to break the Focus Ash on the Infernape if he has it, and it's going to do a lot of damage to that Victini, which could potentially be dangerous. Um, and with this Tyrantrum at the health that it's at, I can come in and pretty much kill it with anything. He's going to outspeed me, though, as I bring in my Electros, Gonna go for that Thunderfang. Doesn't really do a lot of damage. I'm not sure if he predicted me to try to double out there or if he misclicked, but that probably wasn't the best move for him to choose uh, in that situation. Nonetheless, it still does some decent damage, and he did not get the flitch, unfortunately, so he just goes down to a Giga Drain, and I get most of my health back. Um, but uh, I'm also going to get the, the Toxic damage. I forgot about that. In comes Tank, which is going to be his Agron and... I'm going to predict here that he's going to be a Mega Agron, and there's the Agronite. So I believe I just go for a Flamethrower here, because that's going to be super effective now that Agron loses his Rock Typing. And I actually am going to outspeed because Mega Agron is slow as balls, I have to say. Very, very slow. Does about 45%. He's going to hit me up with a Heavy Slam. And regardless of whether that is a resisted hit or not, that's going to do so much damage. And he gets a crit. Does a lot of damage, as I said. There's the toxic damage, brings me down to 15 HP. And I am going to get another flamethrower off before I die to uh, either another heavy slam or whatever it may be. Toxic damage, all that good stuff. There's the heavy slam. And yeah, just Mecha Agron is so incredibly powerful. So incredibly powerful. And especially on the defensive side, it just takes hits for days. It's crazy. Now I'm going to bring in my Magmortar because there's no reason for me not to. He's got three Pokemon left. It's going to be the Mega Agron, the Infernape, and the Victini. So I can't go for a Fire-type move. That'd be kind of silly, especially because I'd lock myself into it with the Choice Scarf. So I just decided to go for the Thunderbolt there. In comes the Hayuka, which is going to get hurt by the Stealth Rock. So no more Focus Sash if he had one. And we are now going to hit him up with a Thunderbolt. And that does okay damage, but he gets taxed here with the... Um, the paralysis. Thankfully, he's still able to move this turn, but it's going to slow this thing down a lot. Goes for the close combat, and Magmortar's physical defense is pretty bad, so he just straight up dies in one hit to this thing, which is unfortunate, but not the end of the world, because we did cripple this Infernape, and that is huge. So I'm going to bring in Shiftry here, and I'm going to go for the Swords Dance, because he is paralyzed, and if he wants to hit me with the close combat, all he's going to do is lower his defenses. He actually is paralyzed and can't move here, but I did have the Focus Sash, so it wasn't anything uh, to worry about. He could not have KO'd me that turn, unless he went for Flare Blitz and burned me, which I guess could have been a possibility. But I'm just going to KO him here, and uh, there goes the Black Belt, so he was not Focus Sash at all. In comes the Victini, who's going to take a considerable amount of damage from those Stealth Rocks, and he's going to go for the V-Create, but my Focus Sash is still intact, so that's going to be the game pretty much here, um, because that'll just bring me down to 1 HP, as I mentioned, and then we can hit him up with any super effective move that we want. There's the Focus Sash, and there goes his Speed and Defense and Special Defense, and he's just going to straight up die 
to a knockoff. He may have died anyway, depending on what his spread was. But uh, yeah, there goes the Victini, and that is going to be the end of the battle. Choice Bandit, wow. That is that is one powerful Pokemon. Choice Bandit Victini with V-Create is just nothing to screw around with. It can kill a lot of things. Just, just so much damage. Uh, anyway, that's it for the battle, as I mentioned. Very entertaining battle. I enjoyed seeing the likes of Tyrantrum and even uh, Mega Aggron. You just, I don't really see it very often. And I've been playing more UU lately. And still, just, it hasn't been very common. Not at all. Anyway, I want to thank uh, Finn for the match. Like I said, his, the, the, his description. His link will be in the description below for those of you that want to check him out. Feel free to do that. And I want to thank you all for watching and uh, not getting mad at me for not posting a video yesterday. I, I will continue to be uh, putting up the double videos as much as possible. We may be going down to one video a day while I'm on vacation. I'm just not positive I'm going to be able to get enough recorded to do two per day um so we will see i will make an announcement about that as soon as i can feel it out on how much i can get done between now and then and uh, i will be taking some more battles over twitter so if you are, do not follow me on there i suggest you uh do that if you would like to battle me and get on the channel and uh, that's pretty much all i have to say so thank you very much for watching folks and uh, do not forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it because it does help out a lot and i'll see you guys for another Wi-Fi battle later on today, but until then, game on.